So yesterday you were saying that we are going to have leading edge conversations. And I... We just had one, didn't we? Yeah, I want another one. And, <laughs> and I, um, I've noticed that there aren't a lot of like YouTube videos and information on water. And oh my God, my heart is just beating under my heart. So I... We're not going to do a sales presentation. No, no, I don't want right. that. I went like 13 years ago, I watched a documentary called What the Bleep Do We Know? And it Esther watched it too, and it made her so dizzy. She oh. couldn't get out of the theater fast enough. It was chaotic to her. Oh, the part that stood out for me, though, was on water and how water has memory. The Japanese scientists. Everything does. Everything has a vibration, and law of attraction is responding to it. So you can call it memory, or you can call it the law of attraction, which is present in everything. Okay. So when we're helping you here with some clarification if you say memory it's hard for people to hear because people think that there has to be a brain to think to have a memory so the bridge that we're wanting to help you make is it's not like people think it's not a brain that's a storage cabinet that then is retrieving information that's in the storage cabinet it's vibration and law of attraction that's putting things together so memory has never been what people think it is it has always been about attraction so when you get that then you don't have to think about a brain in the water you can think about the is it vibration. consciousness it's like a there's consciousness in everything. everything but memory we're just saying memory puts people in a box where it's harder for them to accept that the water has memory. Let's say the water has vibrational properties and law of attraction is responding to those vibrational properties. You see what we're getting at? It's less of a tripping point. When you say, I remembered something, people have a way that they look at it. When you say, my water remembered something, you think, oh really? <laughs> but when you say, instead of saying I remembered something you say yeah I focused and activated a vibration and that vibration caused law of attraction to respond with other vibrations and since I was a vibrational match then as the vibration expanded I got to comprehend it all then when you say that about water that doesn't twist your brain into a knot I guess I wasn't feeling like my brain was twisted in a knot yours isn't, memory. but people you talk to okay so for my brain me we do have influence then over, over everything yeah so over everything. everything every particle of the universe is vibrating and when you are under the influence everything that you focus upon receives the benefit of that influence when you are tuned in tapped in turned on you have influence over everything over dirt yeah okay so like the water and just putting an intention of joy and happiness that vibration changes the water but why only water why are we talking right. about water why aren't we talking about everything everything okay because I was just on the water we know yeah <laughs> because yeah. you're wanting to make the water the main event and it's we're not, not. Yeah. we're wanting okay. to make the consciousness the focus the intention the main event okay. we don't want you to talk about the magic water the water isn't magic you're the magic the water is responding to you okay okay so then all the little like devices and little things and all that kind of stuff, we don't even need that then to change. What I want to talk about is like structuring water. What is structured water? What does structuring water do? Does it have a benefit? We want to step back from the structured water for okay. a moment. We'll talk about it. Does it follow what you know about that? Does it follow that what we're really talking about is getting into alignment so you are joining collaborative forces with infinite intelligence with source energy and then when you focus you're structuring everything your alignment is the structurer there are so many contraptions and gizmos that people offer through time that can get people to focus in a new way that's a good thing that's a really good thing but it is the alignment that causes and so it's not just the structured water Esther has one of those little devices that you're talking about and she uses it and enjoys it as she uses it what her focus is is I so love this life-giving water and anything that can enhance anything is a good idea 
Yesterday, for the first time in her life, she picked up a salt crystal and held it in her hand while she meditated. And she liked it. Does she need the salt crystal? No. If she does, then nothing that we've ever taught her is right. So even with the structuring devices, you don't need that either. It's just alignment, looking at the water or focusing on that and then drinking it. it has the same. This is the benefit of that. You know what she's talking about? It's a device. There are a variety of them, but the one Esther has, it's about the size of a 12 ounce glass of water, very narrow. And when she pours the water in it, it pours right through it. It's not filtering it. There's no filter in it. It's just pouring it right through it, but it's causing a couple of vortexes. It would be more like aerating it if you were looking at it in terms of physics terms. So it sort of mimics the water going over the rocks in the streams or even the water coming through the atmosphere. So much of your water is stagnant because it's stored in aquifers in the ground or in bottles on shelves for a longer time than is valuable to you or even in your tanks or whatever. And so when something becomes dill, it is, you could even call it dormant, it's less active and therefore less beneficial. Now you could say that when it moves through your own physical body, it's becoming structured. In other words, as it's moving through your cells, that's not so different than it tumbling over the rocks either. But that's the idea of it. It just becomes less structured, but even more important, when you do something with some deliberate intention, you are adding the largest component to it. It's your intentionality to anything that adds the largest component to it. I think that's what got me in the what the bleep do we know because it was just the intention of words that had changed the molecular structure, that we, we had that ability to affect not just water, you said dirt, everything, with just our intention. But you see, it's not just the words. You could say love, 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 love. Don't you know I love you, you say to your children. Not really, mom. You seem more mad at me than anything. Yeah, you're talking about alignment though, yeah. And so if you are offering the words of love from the feeling of love, then you are influencing anything that is your object of attention. And that is such a wonderful thing. What we want to add to this because Esther's friend was talking to her about this structured water. And Esther was feeling resistance about it just because she doesn't want another contraption that is necessary to her well-being. We've been teaching her other than that for as long as she's been listening to us. And it makes it sound like you have to drag something around and that your intentionality is not as powerful as it is. It sort of put everything that she understands to be sort of in a funnier place. And so then they went to lunch and her friend had some structured water and the restaurant brought some water and Esther usually buys bottled water but she didn't in this morning she was going to get something else to drink so they put the water on the table that came from wherever they get it so our friends had taste that and Esther did taste like water <laughs> and water doesn't all taste the same so tasted like one of the many varieties of waters that I've tasted she couldn't taste chlorine in it. She, it didn't taste bad. It didn't really taste like anything. Then her friend introduced a little of her structured water that she had in a bottle in her purse into Esther's water, just a little bit into that water. And she said, now taste it. And Esther couldn't discern a different taste, but the water felt different in her mouth. So what was that? It felt different in her mouth. And then Esther felt an appreciation of the water. Well, what she was feeling was an appreciation of the intentionality an acknowledgement of wanting well-being from the life-giving water. In other words, there are a lot of reasons for that. And so then we had a discussion about it. And when the question, how could that little bit of water that was being added to a lot more water make a difference in the water, we said, and this is what you're getting at, because the water that had been structured influenced the other water in the so glass. So entrainment, it entrained or influenced. Anything that is intentional affects anything that isn't. That was the reason that all of Esther's bells were ringing. It was not so much from the water contraption as it was the concept that it was introducing into the conversation. That when you're in alignment, anytime you're in alignment, anything that you give your attention to, in other words, Esther had not appreciated water in a long time. Most don't, you drink it because you're thirsty or you drink it because somebody says you should. But Esther had not focused upon the life-giving benefits of water. It feels different. It, there's something about that. So is that just in my head because it feels different to shower in it, to drink it? Anything that is intentional feels different. Nothing that you're saying is wrong. 
the water is being affected by the intentionality and the contraption is enhancing the intentionality we would really really like it if everyone would give this much attention to every single aspect of your life experience mm -hmm. let's say you've got a little bottle of that water and it's spraying and you just decide that you're going to improve the whole world so you just spray it on everything well don't spray it on electric things yeah <laughs> do you really need to spray something or can you focus your energy toward it your intentionality and so often action does enhance your intentionality but you also run the risk of giving the power to the contraption that's the only thing that we are Same clarifying. Same thing back with the salt. The, yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Nothing has the power except you. And you're either utilizing it or you're not. And really, whatever it takes to cause you to feel more intentional and more deliberate is a really, really, really good thing. Yeah. I think I was wanting to just find if, like, the validity as far as it being valid or truthful because I, I was excited about it and I liked it, it felt good of sharing it that I don't, I don't want to talk about something that is just bullshit. Is it bullshit to you? No, not at all. Then it's not. Okay. Well, then everything's fine, isn't it? That's what we are wanting you to understand. We are not in any way in contradiction with what you are knowing or feeling or wanting others to know about that. We must always bring you back to the broader principle. There are so many things of physical nature that are beneficial and those that come from the inspiration from broader non-physical are those that last everything that is manifested around you we said this yesterday is spiritually based people are often wondering about the difference between materialism and spiritualism and we say it's all spiritual everything that you see is an extension of non-physical energy we're just always talking these days to you from the beginning and now about your work is to mind the gap between your beliefs and your desires and the fact is life is going to continue to produce new desires for you that you're not quite up to speed with and anything that you can use to help bridge that gap is a good thing so there's more to the contraption or all of that than i'm even aware of why the the structure water got my attention so much and why that was so exciting and all of that because even though there are no problems supposedly in the world it seems like there are right on the hills of problems are solutions and there's water stuff around the world that it seems like there would be really simple easy solutions to what's going on with the water which the structuring thing seemed like it was a solution here's the question that we want to put to you we know that you've been listening to us and we know that your broader life experience has brought you to a lot of knowing also do you acknowledge that being in alignment does produce a powerful leverage that can produce faster results yes and do you agree that beliefs that are contrary to desire are hindering to that alignment and therefore to the speed of the manifestation yes and do you believe that what happens with any individual is only about that relationship and that other things like what you're talking about can maybe affect someone's belief or enhance one's belief but ultimately it is the belief that is making the difference oh okay it's the alignment that makes the difference so that means that absent someone's focus there is no contraption that would produce absolute results every single time just like in the documentary that you were talking about it was the physical human attention to it that was affecting it and so a person standing in absolute doubt would get one result from the water you saw that in the documentary and a person who's standing in absolute belief would get another result and so our question is we are not for a moment saying that it isn't wonderful if you can use something as an example to help someone believe in something we just want to step back a little bit further from that and help them believe in themselves more than the contraption yeah that makes sense so when you're in alignment with yourself and you're drawn to a contraption